From Danny Reagan finally going out on a date after five years, to the writers bringing back Jackie Curatola for the finale, Blue Bloods season 13 is absolutely insane, people. And here's everything you need to know about it. For starters, Danny has stepped out of his shell this season. Yep, he's back on the market, ladies. Diehard fans of the show will remember that the detective was married for 20 years, before his wife, Linda, passed away in an off-screen helicopter accident. It was truly one of the most tragic moments of the show. Fans have since rooted for their favorite character to find love again. And now, after five years of waiting, Danny finally went out on a date. Let me give you guys a proper rundown of what happened. In the episode titled Lost Ones, Lt. Sidney Gormley meets with Frank Reagan to appeal on behalf of Detective Laura Acosta. Injured in the line of duty years ago, she just wants to retire now because the pain from her injury makes it impossible for her to even do some desk work. But there's a problem. Like always, Laura has been told that she doesn't qualify for the full disability pension. So Frank decides that he wants to help the woman out. And this is where things get much more interesting. It's revealed that Laura was actually covering Danny's shift the day of the incident since he was still recovering from the loss of his wife. So Acosta suspects that Danny's always felt guilty about her situation. Frank then meets with Danny, and that's when the father realizes that guilt isn't the only thing his son feels for Acosta. Turns out, Laura was there for Danny when his wife passed away. And even though Danny pretends that he doesn't care for her, you know that Frank is impossible to fool. It doesn't take him a second to figure out what's going on. So, the head of the Reagan family then tells Danny that he should open himself up to love. Well, the advice clearly ends up working, because the next thing you know, Danny is glowing at family dinner on Sunday, and even tells his family that he plans on going to some fancy place for a dinner date with Acosta. But did you guys know that fans hated the episode? all because they've been shipping him with Detective Maria Baez. The creators really risked losing a lot of fans by pulling this move. Everyone knows that. The popular choice for Danny's next lover has always been Baez. I mean, the partners have helped each other through many ups and downs. And don't even get me started on that chemistry. So, to no one's surprise, fans were frustrated with this date. One viewer tweeted, that they've decided to stop watching the show now because of this. That's taking it a little too far, but honestly, I get it. Another person wrote that they couldn't believe the writers would betray them like this, and that it was a little unexpected to see Danny get with a newbie. That too, all of a sudden. Many fans even said that if it couldn't be Baez, then he could have gotten together with his psychic Maggie. She's literally been pushing him to go on a date for so long. It would have made a lot more sense, and fans would have even supported their relationship too. Still, viewers are more than hopeful that by the time the season wraps up, they'll finally see Danny and Baez together. Yeah. Just a word of advice, folks. I wouldn't keep my hopes up that high. But one plot that has made fans more than happy is Aaron running for the district attorney's office. At the end of Season 12, fans got to learn that Erin had finally made up her mind and had decided that she was going to run for DA. So, for Season 13, the writers mostly focused on unfolding this storyline. By Episode 2, it's revealed that Frank has decided not to fully support his daughter. This raised some red flags for fans, who couldn't believe that Frank would pull a move like this. But later on in the episode, it all made sense. Because you see, by Frank not supporting her, Frank is supporting her. The police commissioner needs to stay neutral in situations like these, so he can't really go around running her campaign for her. That'll just make people say that Aaron won because of her dad. So the father only had his daughter's well-being in mind. Plus, Aaron has been facing a lot of complications because of this decision too. She's second-guessing if she's even cut out for the job and the campaign is making it hard for her to focus on her work as assistant district attorney. And while this season has had some interesting storylines, 
it's not really the best season fans have seen so far. Let me explain. One of the biggest concerns of the fans is that the show has gotten way too repetitive. I mean, nothing new is happening. Like, okay, Aaron is running for DA, but that doesn't mean you drag it on for so long. Plus, there's no sign of the elections happening anytime soon. The writers really need to wrap this up now and maybe show fans what Aaron can accomplish as DA. I hate to say this, guys, but if the show wants to maintain its audience, then it needs to let some of the characters move on. Like, Henry needs to pass away at some point. Not only that, but Frank should also retire now. It's like nothing exciting is happening at all. Season 13 has just shown fans that the creators no longer have any idea what to do with any of the characters. One fan wrote that it looks like the writers no longer know the characters. And that must be the reason why they're making them do things that seem so out of character for them. Like, why is Erin constantly trying to help her boss, whose job she's trying to take? Make it make sense, people! But you don't have to worry about this disappointing installment anymore, since the writers have another season to make it up to you. Yup, Blue Bloods has been renewed! I know all of us were pretty worried when CBS kept renewing all their other shows, but now fans can release the breath they've been holding, because we're getting season 14. The news came directly from the president of CBS Entertainment, Amy Reisenbach. She talked about how the show is one of the major hits of the network and how it continues to dominate Friday nights. Not only that, Amy then stated that fans have loved the series' dramatic storytelling and the incredible cast. I mean, what's not to love about the show? It's exciting and suspenseful, and it has Tom Selleck in it. Does it really get any better than this? Nope. In her own words, Reisenbach added, We can't wait to pull up a chair to the Reagan family dinner table for another fantastic season. Even the Blue Bloods Instagram account confirmed the news. And to no one's surprise, the comments were filled with happy fans. The official release date hasn't been announced yet, but a source who works on the production of the show has told me that the season will likely premiere in the fall. So, fans won't have to wait for a long time to see the Reagan family on their screens again. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited to see what the new season will bring. Still, you know what's more exciting than the renewal news? Jackie Curatola is making a return to the show. Yep, you heard that right. Jennifer Esposito left the show back in 2012, after playing Jackie for more than three seasons. Her character on the show was introduced as Danny's partner. And if you guys don't remember, the two of them had the kind of partnership that fans just loved. But if things were going that good, why did Jennifer end up leaving Blue Bloods? Well, turns out, she was ordered by her doctor to take a week off of her work because of her celiac disease. But CBS thought it was just an attempt by the actress to get more money. I have no idea how they reached that conclusion. So they had her unceremoniously fired from the show. With all that drama going on behind the scenes, most viewers just assumed that they'd never get to see Jackie again. But now, in a surprising turn of events, Jennifer is reprising her role. This just means that fans will finally get some closure. According to TV Line, Jackie will be acting as chief of police in the finale. I mean, she's definitely a skilled detective, so the promotion makes sense. Plus, this is the least the writers could do after getting that quick resignation from her. The position also ends up giving her the authority that she used to previously complain about not having. It looks like the creators are finally fixing their wrongdoings, and Blue Bloods fans can feel better knowing that in her time off screen, Jackie was able to rise through the ranks. So, there you have it. From the writers bringing back Jackie Curatola for the finale, to Danny Reagan finally going out on a date after five years, Blue Blood Season 13 is absolutely insane, people. And that's everything you needed to know about it.